Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cover this channel, this recording device, my battery juice. And everybody come listen to this mission in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind rebuke, I break and destroy, and I strip the power of Satan and his kingdom from coming against this equipment or attacking anyone to come to hear this message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hello everyone in YouTube land. Today is the day of your salvation, people. Choose you today you're going to serve Jesus or the devil. Do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell, people? Take your pick. Backsliders, Christians, repent for the Holy God. Forgive and let it go. Everybody not worship Father God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, go to the description box. It tells you everything you need to do except Jesus, your Lord and Savior. New subscribers, welcome. If you're here for the first time, somebody been praying for you and the Lord's trying to answer their prayers or he trying to call you to the house. Because it is time to go home, people. Look, folks. I got a message through the Holy Spirit from our Lord. Please take it to prayer. But confirmation is Isaiah 30. Okay. Uh, Judah, worthless treaty with Egypt. But let me go to this picture right quick. It's like a picture in a picture. Okay. Um, this fellow right here is like an army of them. Well, I only took him because he was closest. All right. But there are angels all in this picture. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in. Hope it ain't too bright because I tried to darken this bad boy. But this is the outline. You can see his face, his mouth, his nose, his forehead, and all that. Okay. But you got angels there. Well, you got angels here. Little tiny ones there. You got one flying around here. You got one right here. Okay. You got an a, a angel flying right there. What is wrong with this thing? Okay. I'm too far. <laughs> angel right there. You got one right here. Okay. You got one holding a towel. Uh, uh, a garment or something. He's holding a garment. You got one right here. They're all over the place. You see a face right there. I'm just letting you see. It, it's a. Uh, it's crazy. I love the picture. It's beautiful. But you got angels all over the place. Okay. Also, if we go back like that, they didn't look like a person on their back. I <laughs> see. The person looked like a nose and a mouth and whatever. And you can see his hair. And then you can see like he had on a robe and his skirt. I don't know. Flying. It's crazy. I don't know. I, I think it's so cool how these angels make all these pictures. How God does it good. You know. Like I said. He's an artist. But let me go ahead and give you this message. Okay. Alright. Let me get to it y'all. Bear with me peoples. Okay. Children. Why are you not listening to the warnings I give you? Why are you, not, why are you mocking my messengers? Because I love you, I must correct you. I said, seek me while you can find me. My father and I long to hear from you, but you still have many idols that take your focus from me, us, your first loves. Many are still asleep. Now it is time to awaken my church. And when everything is done, you will know I am the Lord, your God, Yeshua. Whew, shall, okay. Wow, all right. I got scriptures for it. Just a minute. All right, let me go to scriptures. Now, let me read some of Isaiah 30 for you. All right, Isaiah 30. Jews' worthless treaty, okay? What sorrow waits my rebellious children, says the Lord. You make plans that are contrary to mine. You make alliances not directed by my spirit, thus piling up your sins. For without consulting me, you have gone down to Egypt for help. You have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection. You have you have tried to hide in his shade, but trusting Pharaoh will be you will be humiliated, and by depending on him, you will be disgraced. For through the power, through his power extends to though his power extends to Zoan, and his official have arrived in Hanes. All who trust in him will be ashamed. He will not help you. Instead, he will disgrace you. And yeah, this message came to me concerning the animals in Negev. The caravan moved slowly across the terrible desert in Egypt. Donkeys weighed down with riches and camels loaded with treasures, all to pay for Egypt protection. They traveled through the wilderness, a place of loneliness and lions, a place where vipers and poisonous snakes live. All of this in Egypt will give you nothing in return. Egypt promises are worthless. Therefore, I call her Rahab the harmless dragon. <laughs> He gave me four, four, four. Okay, now go and write down these words. Write them in a book. They will stand until the end of time as a witness that these people are stubborn rebels who refuse to pay attention to the Lord's instruction. 
They tell the seers, stop seeing visions. They tell the prophets, don't tell us what is right. Tell us nice things. Tell us lies. Forget all this gloom. Get off your narrow path and stop telling us about your Holy One of Israel. This is the reply of the Holy One of Israel. Because you despise what I tell you and trust instead and trust instead impress, impression and lies. Calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that bursts and falls. Jesus. In an instant, it will collapse and come crashing down. You will be ashamed like a piece of pottery, shattered so completely that there won't be a piece big enough to carry coals from a fireplace or a little water from the well this is what the sovereign lord the holy one of israel says only in returning to me and resting in me you will be saved and quietness and confidence is your strength but you will have none of it you said no we will get our help from egypt they will give us swift horses for riding into battle but the only swiftness you are going to see is the swiftness of your enemies chasing you one of them will chase a thousand of you Five of them will make all of you flee. You will be left like a lonely flagpole on a hill or a tattered banner on a distant mountaintop. Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop right there. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing. Hold up. Lord, no, he can make you feel fall, small in his words. Okay, look, people. It ain't funny, but okay, God is not playing with y'all people. All right, look. Let me give you the... Uh, the scriptures to this because like I said he everything he does is uh is scripture <laughs> but it's funny how you do it it's crazy Proverbs 3 12 for the Lord corrects those he loves just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights Hebrew 12 6 for the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes the one he accepts as a child 2 Chronicles 36 16 but the people mock these messengers of God and despise their words they scoff at the prophets until the Lord's anger could no longer be uh, restrained and nothing could be done Jude 1 1 8 they told you that in the last time there will be scoffers who purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly ungodly desire 2 Peter 3 3 most importantly, let me see. Most importantly, I want to remind you in the last days, scoffers will come mocking truth and following their own desires. Look, folks. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, look. Lord is not playing with you. Okay, unbelievers. All right. Those that are sitting in church and have not said the salvation prayer to come home. Those who believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me a new creation in Christ. Find a Christian. I don't care. You got a Christian friend, Christian relative. You got apartment complex, got apartment building, go to gym. Go, let them baptize you in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It is nothing in the Bible says a Christian can't baptize you. Because I'm going to tell you what. When the church is gone, and when those left behind the remnant, and they, they speak in God's word, they're going to be baptizing, just like they did days old. So, you don't need no preacher to baptize you. A Christian, a, a saved, a born-again Christian can baptize you people. Okay? Another thing. Byram. You need to go to his blog spot. I got in the description box. He got three or four more warnings uh, that was given to him by Father God and Jesus. And some of what I'm saying you is he's mimicking. You guys got idols. Y'all letting uh, Satan um, distract y'all. Y'all need to stop what you're doing. Sit down. Open that Bible. I don't care. It's freaking 30 minutes. I don't care if you're doing something. Uh, wash the dishes. You need to be talking to the Lord. You need to be like, thank you, Lord. Praising him. Giving him Praise unto glory. You need to be talking to him just like I talk to him. It's relationship unto God. It ain't no religion. Religion come from man. It's man's tradition. I told you, keep following man. Man gonna send you to hell. Stop listening to that crazy stuff, okay? Also, I told you the veil is dropping, folks. When I say the veil is dropping, because I got two more pictures today with the veil is dropping. The strainer. The restrainer that's keeping Satan all stuff at bay. He getting ready to break camp, people. That's the Holy Spirit. You don't want to be here. I'm going to tell you that now, unbelievers. You do not want to be here when the church is gone. You got Antichrist, false prophets. You got giants, 
uh, not only the Vatican, the government using uh, animal DNA, human DNA, uh, resurrecting these things. You got demons that are going to be walking around. It's going to be a mess, okay? You don't want to be here, all right? They still got them tools and them, them uh, shops they've been closing, like Costco and Kmart and David's Bridal, where well, they got demons. Uh, um, how can I say it? What you say? Guarding it. They got tools from hell that's going to, they're going to be using to torment Christians that are left behind. Hot boiling grease. Hot boiling water. Okay. Acid. All right. They're going to be plucking eyeballs and all that stuff out. Just make you take the mark of the beast. Don't take that mark of the beast. That's your one way ticket to hell. I'm going to tell you that now. You better stick with Jesus like white on rice. Okay. Also, Lord's Vogel Sharp put out another warning. Uh, people, you guys need to go ahead and repent. Uh, and forgive and let it go because everybody's being influenced by demons. They're all over the place. You know, you don't want to believe me. This is the unseen world, people. When I take my pictures, I'll see this. It's unseen. All them angels, just click my name. You can go through all the pictures, video. They're real. Okay. Lord Jesus Christ is real, people. All right. And I don't care. If you can believe in Wicca and Buddha and all this stuff, I don't know why you don't believe in the creators of the universe. They created everything, okay? You believe in Satan, you can't believe in God. They the one made Lucifer. Lucifer didn't make himself. Hello? He got kicked out of heaven by God. Well, like the boat, okay? Because he screwed himself over, okay? This is all it's about. He want to get in heaven, he can. He have a tantrum tantrum. That's all it is. And he got his demons running around acting fool like they're going to get in heaven. Ain't nothing ever going to happen. We all know what's going to happen in Revelation. He's going to get hit, hit by a fire. We're going to pit. Then he's going to get hit, hit by a fireball. And he's going to flame roast and cook just like the demons. Well, some of them are already in there now. So, yeah. But anyway, that's a long story. i can tell you about that. Um, look, people. Go repent. Okay. It is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock here on West Coast time. It will be 7 o'clock in, um, he gave me 11th. In uh, Sweden, where that little eight-year-old boy had that vision that was in detail. Y'all about to take heed to it, because I wouldn't be surprised God, Father God told Jesus to go get his church. And he'd been giving uh, mercy, because he'd been trying to get the last little bits to come to marry supper lamb. Jesus is calling y'all to the marriage of the Lamb. He's trying to call y'all to heaven and give you everything he got, because we are heirs and joint heirs of Christ. Okay, we inherit what he has. Okay, and give you rewards and stuff. And you want to stay down here acting half crazy. Like he said, many are called and few are chosen. Okay. And um, this ain't nothing to be playing with. Get yourself right with Christ. Uh, husband, if you mean to right, you need to repent. Father God does not hear your prayers. Everybody, you need to repent. You need to ask God to forgive you. And you need to tell God you forgive everybody from birth to now. Bless them and help them. And you release them in Jesus' name. You're about a minute because I'm telling you that Father God is not going to forgive you. And you're not going up there with unrepentant sins. Christians, if you're showing your walk daily with God, not acknowledging him, not praying without ceasing, not freaking sharing the word of God, not helping the poor. You're not beginning your day with him, raise your hand, give him praise. You're not ending your day with him, giving him praise for the day because your next breath ain't guaranteed to you. That's unrepentant sins. You need to dip yourself in the blood of Jesus, people. And if this stuff doesn't happen and we don't get translated tonight, well, sweet time, oh, well, I still believe because the word of God says, uh, uh, First Thessalonians 4 17 said, I'm going to get caught up and I'm waiting to get caught up. And if you're not looking for God, God ain't come to get you. Okay. And if those people that not accept Jesus Christ, when this rap pour out, you die, you go to hell. And I pray you accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. It is Bible studies in those description box, people. Get right with Christ. Be blessed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And praise God.